On today's episode of the Dayton Chronicles, this woman shares how she got humbled after the man wanting to date her said this. Just watch the video. I am in shock. I am in in disbelief. I just tell me why. This man gonna give me the biggest reality check. This man gonna invite me out, right? And I couldn't go. And usually when I be telling him no, he be getting a little bit in his feelings. And I would expect nothing less if you actually give You feel me? Um. Anyway, that's just my opinion. But so I had to tell him no. So I text him back, talk about, oh, I can't. I know you finna be upset or whatever, whatever. He responds and says, nah, it ain't that deep. <laughs> <laughs> Since when? Hmm? Since when ain't it that deep? Hmm? And so I'm like, quit playing with me. You know you be getting mad when I be telling you no. He gonna say, we ain't reached a point where you're worth getting that mad for. Rejected. I mean, you're right, but goddamn, like, goddamn. And I just, when I tell you, I stared at that text for minutes, for minutes, my jaw on the floor. He told, he politely told me, baby girl, you are not that important. <laughs> he said, you are not worth me stressing over. Um, wow. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if now she's obsessed with him after he told her that. When a man gets told no enough, he stopped trying and move on to better things. Bro finally read the playbook and decided to put up some points for once. At some point, we all get tired of being played with and the best thing to do is just to walk away. Don't make a fool of yourself with always begging to hang out or see anyone. If you ask once and they don't try to reschedule it, then you know she's not interested. You should never fall for the apply pressure bullshit. Advice for life. Focus your energy on people that are worth it. Props to her having a good vibe about it, at least though. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.